hi and welcome to another session of SEOs RAS. My name is Daniel Durish. I'm from digital marketing agency Basta Digital and I'll be hosting today's session. And uh, today we are joined by Sharka Jakubcova, who is a SEO specialist for a video platform in Czech television. And it's important that they see SEO as a means of getting public service content to white uh, public and to their licenses through the search engines. And organic traffic is one of their most important organic channels or non-paid channels. And today she's going to talk about how they addressed search engine optimization during uh, the re redesign of uh, website, Czech TV websites. And uh, there are many interesting questions, like for example, how did they address uh, video content in their historical archive or how did they approach uh, fresh content challenges in search? And don't forget that uh, during the whole session, you can ask your questions. If uh, you see anything interesting and you have more questions, just join us at slido.com and uh, enter SEO's RAS as the code. And uh, during whole presentation, there'll be questions and answers. And in the end, uh, we'll answer all these questions for you with Sharka here. So Sharka, please uh, start your presentation. Floor is yours. Uh, hello, everybody. I will share the screen. Uh, okay. Uh, so I would like you I like to tell you about uh, the Czech TV video platform redesign and its technical and on page search challenges. Uh, and not only as a case uh, study about the redesign, and, uh, uh, but also uh, as an example of important things to keep in mind when you are building and migrating a large website. So, but first a few words about Czech television. Uh, it provides television broadcast in Czech Republic. Uh, it has seven TV channels and also allow, allows uh, live online watching TV and uh, uh, programs are available through an online catalog. And the online catalog, that's, uh, that's what we are going to talk about. Uh, Czech TV is public service broadcaster. That means the main source of funding is the television license fee. So everyone who has a TV pays it. It's uh, five euros and 50 cents per month and all content of Czech TV is freely available online and uh, in broadcasting. And the question, why does Czech TV need and do SEO? SEO is mostly understood as part of performance online marketing. And the first que question uh, that may arise is, why is performance marketing necessary for a public service media? So what's the difference between commercial company and the public service? So regular company sees growth and profit uh, generation as its main goals. So need performance marketing naturally. Uh, the purpose of public service television is to provide information, artistic production, and entertainment mainly. But we don't need performance marketing for that. Uh, in our case, we don't see SEO as a means of marketing, but as means of getting content to public through one of the most important non-paint channel, organic search. Uh, easy availability of content to the public in search fulfills, from my point of view, the very essence of public service as such. 
And one of the most important goals of the whole project was to make the content of Czech television as easily accessible as possible to its users. And with good SEO, this can be achieved with good results. So I need uh, uh, the public service and SEO means content is available for public. So let's talk about the redesign of the online video, video platform. Uh, the video platform called EVC Lang in Czech, what means I broke broadcasting. Uh, EVC Lani is practically an online catalog where you choose videos to play. Uh, the history of the catalog dates back to 2004 when the first version was launched. And the last versions worked from 2011 to 2021. Uh, that means 17 years. Uh, and it was on the same technological solution. Uh, this long time created a big technological depth that needed to be cleared. And the uh, redesign was launched in uh, December, 2021. Uh, what is video platform traffic? Uh, we have approximately uh, 250,000 sessions per day a uh, little bit less users per day. And mainly uh, it comes from organic, uh, organic searches. 5% uh, of other sources, uh, sources are mainly referral and social. Uh, you can see no paid camp campaigns at all there. So uh, this is about, about our traffic. Now about content. We have uh, uh, 35,500 uh, number of programs, like individual shows, uh, more than uh, 600,000 uh, uh, number of, of episodes, 40,000 uh, number of video bonuses, and uh, categories and listing sites uh, 310. So this is our content. But what Search Console uh, told us about video platform content? Uh, I can see 4 million indexed pages and 14 million excluded pages. So that's a huge disproportion. Uh, so that means Google excluded three and a half times as many pages as it indexed. It. Then, then there must be something wrong with it. And there were certainly plenty more URLs on the web that we didn't even find in Google listings. I think the total number of pages uh, is uh, uh, about 20 to 40 million, but I'm not still sure. <laughs> so which risk we saw in SEO didn't get involved in the redesign? Uh, first risk is about search engines and their inability to re-index and display new content effectively. The second risk is about users and their inability to find required content. The third is, uh, is about the traffic. We would see a significant drop uh, of number of visitors. And uh, finally, the content of public service is not avail available as might it be. And that's exactly what we wanted to need avoid. Uh, these are stages of SEO redesign tasks. Uh, first is about the mapping, analyzing, and SEO strategy. Uh, second is about the SEO checklist and implementation. Uh, third, uh, testing and launching it. 
and fourth, evaluating and planning next steps. And I'm going to say something on each of these points. About website analysis, uh, 20 to 40 million pages is huge amount. So how to analyze it? First, we had a internal database of types of content and all its pages. So we need a list of uh, programs, episodes, and everything like that. The second important source of data was uh, screaming frog crawls. Uh, first, we crawled uh, all types of URLs, including Im images and uh, all types of URLs. And then, only HTML pages of the size 1 million of URL. And then we were looking for patterns in uh, the page types. Page type could be program, category, live stream, uh, just the same type of, type of page. Uh, and uh, each page time has some uh, shared characteristics and the errors are repeated over and over uh, only on the different pages, but you can see the patterns there. Uh, then we use the data from Google Analytics and BigQuery, Search Console data, Majestic and Ahrefs data, and uh, we did a keyword analysis. In the analysis of the site, we found only two positives, but very strong positives, uh, which kept organic at high performance. Uh, there were hundred thousands of unique videos on the wide range of popular topics. Uh, we have on film production, original TV series, documentaries, and, and so on. And second positive is very strong and natural link profile. Look at the numbers of backlink uh, and the referring domains. Uh, I think it's really good. And or organic keywords as well. And now about negatives. There were no sell at all, just nothing. Next, nada, tabula rasa. I, show, I will shortly describe the biggest problems we have found. The first big problem was duplicates. They were just everywhere, really everywhere. Uh, the first is about uh, different versions of URL. Uh, you can see the versions here and all versions uh, of uh, these URLs were functional and not redirected. And moreover, linked from the different parts of the website. Uh, but we have just only one uh, default version here uh, with HTTPS, uh, Ws and on the slash, uh, with the slash at the end of the URL. Uh, to give you an idea how many links led to different versions of URL, look at the slash and non-slash version of the video platform homepage. You can see how many links uh, led to, to the different versions. And here uh, you can see a share. Almost a third of the links led to a version that is not the default. Uh, that's a big problem. Uh, and uh, another type of du duplicates. Uh, do you want to choose a film? Uh, you uh, can see four different addresses where you can choose a movie from the same catalog. And finally, we uh, found almost one 120 other types of duplicate con content. It was really, really everywhere. Uh, another uh, problem 
in, uh, in our analysis we have found uh, was inconsistent URL structure. Uh, on this page, you can see a famous cooking show. On the right side here, you can see the green menu bar that leads to thousands of other pages of secondary content as receives, interviews, articles, and so on. And each show had its own URL stru structure for this content, which was not consistent. For example, we found seven different paging parameters on the site. You can see it. Uh, many, many uh, shows and, uh, and uh, types of pages had a different pagination parameter. Another sign of lack of SEO was on page. In the snippet, you can see the page menu items uh, and the alphabetical selection of programs here. Here is menu, here is the alphabetical uh, selection of programs. This is what a snippet, uh, this is uh, a snippet from before. Uh, it was a snippet of, of the, um, I think, uh, important page uh, with a listing of, of programs. And another problem was a huge amount of redirects in internal linking. Uh, the first URL is from internal link and it's from, uh, from banner in, in the website. And then it's followed uh, with seven hops to final destination, as you can see. Uh, and Google follows just five redirects. Uh, you can see uh, HTTP, HTTPS, slash, non slash, different versions, 301, 302, uh, completely messed. And the next problem we have found approximately 5 million of zombie pages. So that's pages where nobody goes for a long time. A typical uh, example of a zombie page was the page about who won the show's SMS contest in 2020. So this old flash had to go away. Uh, so these were the most important points from the analysis. And now to the strategy. The first very important task was clean up of index and safe crawl budget. Before the redesign, we need to uh, prepare everything for the for the more redirects, more new content and, and so on. Uh, which consisted of the following points. Uh, completion of unfinished HTTPS migration. So everything had to be on HTTPS, no HTTP anymore. Unifying domain and URL versions and its linking. Cleaning up the original redirect mess I showed you. Uh, avoiding the creation or indexing unnecessary URL, URLs and the global linking fixes. So this is example of redirection after cleaning. Uh, for promoting uh, shows, we are using friendly short URLs uh, that are redirected to the shows page. So it's the first line here or here. Uh, between these two pictures, you can see a uh, difference. We fixed the internal link to, to default version. So the first link is different. We need to link to default version of URL always. 
uh, then you can see shorten, shortening, uh, shortening redirects between URL versions, no temporary redirects 302. Voila, and we can see just three necessary hops uh, in the middle here, uh, you can see a uh, database URL we need for identification of programs. So it's necessary to have it, but still it's different. Uh, three hops are, are okay, I think. One of the main point of the redirect cleanup was fixing the internal linking. Uh, this is what you can see is the footer, uh, the part of that contains the most internal link of the entire site. You, there are millions of links there. Uh, the orange are redirect chains. The red one is the 404 error. And we have fixed this so that links are green now and they lead directly to the landing page without redirection. So that has cleared millions of redirects from internal linking just from footer. Uh, let me remind you of the in this indexation share chart. And this is after uh, the index cleanup. You can see a clear decrease in indexed pages and increase in excluded pages. So which is positive trend of us. Another important part of the strategy was the SEO checklist, which contained 40 individual specifications for all SEO related sections. In point, you can see which parts of the site were converted by the, covered by the specifications. Uh, I won't talk, uh, I, want to talk, I don't want to talk about uh, all of them, but I will pick the most interesting of them. So first, uh, URLs and content architecture. The main goal was to keep the URL wherever possible to avoid additional redirects. Uh, so we kept the programs and their episode on uh, the original URLs. Uh, we consolidated and extended video listings on the new URLs. We consolidated video bonuses on the new URLs. Uh, secondary content was partially preserved on the original URLs. We eliminated most of the duplicate content and zombie pages were cut off. And now important thing about the JavaScript. The new video platform is an application on the JavaScript library React. Uh, in order for the search engine to read the content correctly and be able to crawl it, crawl the links uh, and, and the content, it must get the content in HTML. Uh, the easiest way how to do it is to set up server-side rendering. Uh, we did it and new category pages were indexed by the second day after launch. Uh, you can see the new optimized uh, snippet from the movies category. Uh, just uh, look uh, how it was looked like before and now. The basic content for the video platform is of course videos. This is the cooking show again and uh, Video optimization is not just about full text. We needed also increase the number of hits from video search and the video carous carousels you can see uh, at the bottom of the picture. <laughs> our content, our video content is video stream. That means uh, you can't find there 
uh, no HTML, HTML video tag and no video file URL. Uh, so the search engine must recognize that a video is on the page. Uh, for this, you need uh, structured data, mainly video object from schema, OG and Twitter cards um, uh, metadata are helpful too. Uh, this is what you need uh, for. Then new redirects. We uh, needed a lot, a lot, a lot new redirects for redesign. Uh, you can see four stages of redirects here. We have load balancer, web server, application server, and administration. Here you have uh, redirects uh, and you can work with them. First, we prepared redirects for each section and type page separately. So separately, programs, episodes, uh, categories, and so on. We build them on the simplest possible ways. So we made the easy rules that are based on the directories and parameters in, in the URLs. Uh, it was necessary to redirect all changed or delete URLs to the closest in content. So redirect all, uh, all uh, URLs needed. We were using redirect 3308, permanent redirect, no 301. Uh, the advantage compared to 301 is uh, that search engine does not check it again and again and again. So you are saving crawl budget. Then we did a lot of testing and debugging after lunch. So this is what the, uh, the video platform page looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So uh, objective achieved. Uh, we had no significant drops in organic traffic. Uh, we have the new strong traffic to new listing pages. Uh, we had a properly executed redirects and really quick re-indexing of, of uh, new content. I think uh, rebuilding of the structure was, uh, was successful. Uh, we cleaned up the index and we have no new crowd errors anymore. And what hasn't worked so far, um, structured data uh, and uh, improved performance in video search, we still have some bugs in them and the performance could be better, I think. So we are working on it. Working on it. Uh, we haven't got image SEO into the project so far, but we are planning it. Uh, so far, we were no space to solve broken links and improve link profile. It's good, but still you can make it better. And uh, site maps are still not complete. And what's next? Uh, we are play, planning a new uh, video player technology, improved mobile app, uh, joined with uh, with a website. Uh, what's interesting in X SEO, we are planning uh, specific U URLs uh, for parts of the programs. Uh, for example, you can find in, in Google uh, part of the news if you if you want to look it. Then we are plan planning new TV guide connected to the uh, video catalog. So you can find a, a exact day and, and uh, play something. Uh, we want to improve system of secondary content. Uh, 
with better quality. Uh, we are planning new tax systems. Uh, you, you can uh, choose your program uh, uh, according to topic. And uh, we, want, we are planning to, uh, to uh, do uh, performance and creators uh, database and its sites. And the last important thing I want to say is keep in mind SEO is an essential part of any successful redesign, especially for large websites. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, look on uh, medium.com, uh, Česká televize, where you can find a case study uh, article. Thank you, Sharka. Thank you, Shaka, for presenting uh, this, this uh, experience from redesign of Czech TV video platform. You have, we can start with the questions. I'll just uh, remind that you can ask questions at slido.com. Just enter the SEO RAS event code or use the link in, uh, in uh, Zoom chat. And I have the first question uh, for you. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you decided to use 308 status code instead of 301 to save crawl budget. Uh, have you seen this somehow confirmed or was your experience that this really saved crawl budget uh, in comparison to 301? Uh, uh, we were discussing it with, uh, with colleague in, in Seznam, it's a second search engine in, uh, in Czech Republic. And uh, they approved the search engine, uh, just found 308, just at first, goes there. And then uh, if he goes to, to the uh, redirected URL again, uh, no goes and, and find, okay, this is the redirected URL. So, okay, 308, go away. Oh, so this is very in interesting information. Even I think it's new for me. So we need to, because this is Czech television, so we need to uh, also think about uh, local search engine called Seznam, uh, which recommends using 308 to save pro budget. And I think Google just doesn't doesn't care, or maybe if it does, it all, will also say crawl budget. But as far as I know, it doesn't. But this is really in, important information to know. For so for Czech websites, if you use three hundred eight, then Seznam uh, will just come once and 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 forget the old URL, which is which is a good thing because we know that using three hundred one for Google, it takes. They recommend that the redirect should stay around even for a few couple of years. So, so thank you for this information. So we have some more info, uh, more questions here. Uh, Martin asks, uh, I think you partially answered this, that you have provided some structured data uh, for videos for Google. And we have seen in one of your slides that it was possible to find these videos uh, using uh, Google search. Yeah. They, you, yeah, go on. Uh, I think this is the most important thing uh, you uh, you can provide your video content to Google without a classic HTML tag. Yeah. So just, you, you are saying, okay, we have a structured data here. Uh, this is the video with this name, uh, this description, this length, everything you can write there. And uh, Google can read OG and Twitter card metadata as well. So uh, you have more ways how to say, here is the video. Yeah, this is, this is also very interesting information that just by using structured data, you can uh, tell Google, this is the video. Of course, the website doesn't, I mean, the website doesn't have to include the URL because it's a stream, as you said, I probably provide it or, or run through JavaScript. So. Great. Um, also regarding this, uh, somebody, Jan, is asking that if the videos that you post or the streams that you have on Czech TV, uh, IVC line websites are unique or they are also sometimes uploaded to YouTube or other, other channels? Uh, yeah, uh, not all uh, content of Czech TV is unique. Uh, Czech TV is playing uh, 
uh, movies. Uh, I don't know. It's not just only Czech TV production. Uh, it's a lot of, of programs. They are not unique, uh, but uh, share of unique uh, unique programs are are big. But I don't know how how much now. But some programs are uploading uh, their content to YouTube as well. You can find it there. But primary source is on EVC line. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. What about zombie pages? So you mentioned that uh, you have basically cut off, so erased zombie pages, maybe did the redirects and so on. But have you studied first or have you analyzed the zombie pages? If maybe if the content was updated, it could be republished to gain some more traffic. Uh, you can use this uh, method. I think I think it's good for for some kind of website, but in our case, it was really really big mess. Yeah. Uh, it was no time to study what's important and what's what's not. So we just cut off all pages uh, where uh, nobody was last year. Yeah. Okay. And, and have you and you put redirects uh, for these pages as well, right? Yeah, just uh, like uh, again, easy easy redirect tool. Just uh, uh, take this content and redirect it to to the program page. Oh, okay. And there's another question by David, who asks, which tools did you use when you created the redirection rules? Uh, he tries to identify the Oh, okay, so he means for the analysis of uh, uh, and pairing the URLs from new to uh, from old to new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how uh, did you do this in for millions of pages? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is it. Uh, the main tool was here and here. Uh, we used really uh, the the simplest uh, ways uh, what was possible. So. Uh, it was just the node architecture of the URLs and then uh, make really easy rules. Just uh, take this, uh, this uh, directory, uh, redirect it here with these exceptions. It was not uh, working with millions of, of pages, but with the directories and parameters. So it was not, uh, not so many. Yeah, it was not uh, take this URL and redirect it, it here, but take this directory or this parameter and redirect it here. Yeah, I think this is probably the only way if you don't have some some really advanced tool that can pair one to one based on some some <laughs> machine learning. That this is the only way to do it because otherwise you have millions of URLs and that this is a very uh, painful work even for for seasoned SEO specialists. Okay. Um, okay. So, how did you you mention that you did the that there was before there was no real optimization done for the video pages for the for the video platform? So, how did you approach, for example, speed optimization for video pages? You mentioned there is no video included because it's a stream, so probably the pages are quick. I mean, fast enough to load, or how does it work? Yeah, uh, uh, speed optimization was really important part of whole redesign and it was not about just as it was just the global problem and uh, it was really really a big topic and it's not possible to like uh, answer in easy way what we everything uh, uh, did it was mainly on developers okay but I think it's faster than before. <laughs> because of using React as well, I think. No? <laughs> so maybe if we have, if you, some of our participants have more questions, this is the time to uh, ask them at Slido because we'll be slowly closing up. So maybe for last uh, one of those last questions, uh, do you use Google News as as important traffic channel for fresh content or for? media style news content or this was not a topic that you were uh, addressing during the redesign uh, 
I'm doing SEO for for video platform, and you Google News are not important uh, channel for video platform, but for the news of uh, Czech TV are one of the most important and I think uh, our colleagues are working with it but uh, just for the news channel and it has a special special website so okay. it's not uh, it's not my business <laughs> okay 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 and there are no more questions just this last one so let's ask it and then we can close up this session of SEOs Russ. so uh, you mentioned that some of the videos of some programs are also uploaded to YouTube. If, if they are uploaded to YouTube, does that mean that YouTube will outrank them in uh, Google search results? Have you analyzed this or this is something to address later? Mm, I don't know. We, we are not uh, solving it in this way. We are not uh, like uh, compete with YouTube. Mm -hmm. We need uh, to uh, to our content be visible, yeah. yeah. And it's somewhere next to YouTube, uh, and really close. And I don't care if the our our uh, site is first and the YouTube second. It's mainly like this, or if you watch the video on YouTube or on our platform, it's it's live. It's working like this and. And I need uh, our website to be visible, but not not like competing with you. Yeah, I, I think you said it well that uh, the, oh, we have another question. Okay, so, but you mentioned it well that uh, actually you take YouTube as another channel for traffic, for organic traffic or even paid traffic where people can come from. If you have some of the videos published there, maybe some trailers, shorter videos, then that would... Uh, uh, attract other people from YouTube to check TV video platform. So this works well. Okay. Uh, have you analyzed Google Discover? If that, uh, or have you addressed it with the video platform? Have you seen this in Search Console? How, this, how, how did it change after redesign? Uh, I, I'm watching it. Uh, I, I'm watching Google uh, Discover and uh, it's... I think it's increasing slowly, and but it's like really big, uh, uh, big uh, peaks uh, mm -hmm. with uh, with some topics. Yeah, uh, you have uh, now war in U Ukraine. It's uh, you don't believe what's what it's doing with with uh, traffic in Czech TV. So I don't know uh, how how much of this is because of redesign and how much is uh, because uh, Olympic Games and these uh, important topics. I understand, I understand. This is another question about Google Discover that we have answered. And another question about Google Discover, which we can, I think, skip at the moment. But thank you, Sharka, for participating in SEO Zras today. It was an, another SEO Zras session, very interesting stuff. I think we haven't had anything like this before, because when we talk about uh, large redesigns or large website migrations, we usually think in hundred thousands of pages and uh, rarely millions of pages. And you really shown us that it's possible to do also for millions of pages. And these are these are the tips from you. So thank you again for participating. And uh, my name is Daniel Durish. I was your host today for SEO's Rast session. Just follow us on social networks or find the links in chat and uh, hope to see you soon in next uh, SEO's Rust session with another guest. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.